And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos. I'm Avier once again, and I welcome you back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we fought off the Imprisoned for a third time after coming down to Faron Woods. And in this episode, because the woods are completely flooded, we're going to be using the Grusinator to get over. According to Granny, he has a tendency to hurt people he helps. Not on purpose, but just because. Ooh, birds. I like birds. No! Wait! Oh, God! I failed miserably at collecting the birds. Whoops. Um. Oh, they're back! No! They were back. I swear to you. I didn't make that up. I like birds. You know, we'll worry about that later. I don't need the birds. Well, I kind of need the birds, actually. Um. So let's go get some birds. Here, birds! This is one of the f you're one of the few th your feathers are all I need. Do not ask for anything else. Yes, I got two. That's all I needed. I need two. Sadly prized bird feathers are birds to in the skyloft and conserve as a <laughs> You got two bird these highly prized feathers come from birds foreign to skyloft and can serve as a useful material. There! Gosh, I couldn't I can't speak today. I've been actually speechless a lot today because today is the day they revealed the World of Warcraft cinematic and all the stuff for Warlords of Draenor and I am extremely excited because I'm a huge fan. Anyway, with enough of that though. Want to head to Farron Woods, do you? No sweat, just hop into the Grusinander and I'll fling you over. Okay! Alright, hop in and I'll take care of the flinging. Just, you just worry about the landing. Oh boy. Well, here we are, inside of Faron Woods. Completely flooded. She wasn't kidding. Faron Woods. Oh boy. This section of Faron Woods is what most people consider the worst, one of the worst parts of Skyward Sword, and gave it the heavy criticism. In fact, many people use this part to completely justify a reason to hate Skyward Sword. And to me, while I'm not the biggest fan of it, I don't hate it. It's different, and it's a little annoying and monotonous, but regardless, we'll get into that in just a second. So what we want to do is we want to make our way to the bottom, I believe, of the tree? If I am remembering this correctly... Uh, air bubbles are your friend while you explore. Make sure you go out of your way to get them, as they will serve you quite well. Oh, that's a big slime. Look at the slime. The choo-choo is like, I want to eat you. I'm good. Eat you. Regardless, we want to make our way to the entrance of the tree. I need an air bubble. There's one right over there. I believe we're nearby. If not, I apologize. One of the things that does drive me nuts about this area is that it is, since it is underwater, it's a lot harder to see what you're doing and where you're going. But uh, that's a minor complaint, honestly. Uh, here we go. I found it. This is the entrance to the tree. Just like we found it way back when. If you have trouble at all with this area, I would highly recommend you get an air potion from the potion shop. It will allow you to be underwater for a significantly longer time, and you won't have as many of a problem. Just, they give you means to make this part a lot more painless than it actually seems. Take that opportunity. I might myself if I have trouble, but I don't think I will. Regardless, let's make our way to the top and see what's happening inside the tree, because even this area is flooded. Alright, to the top then. There it is. You, I have a feeling I know who's behind this too. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh boy, <laughs> this will be fun. And you know what? This is a section that I hope you understand will not be done in full commentary. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, how could you do this to me, game? That was so done right, and you know it, game. You will have to collect all of the tad tones, and the little pun there is quite humorous. You have to collect them all in a sequence and under a time limit. That is the biggest issue. Wait, why am I not losing breath? I am confused, but quite content with this. Oh, I am losing breath, just extremely slowly for some reason. Regardless, you're gonna have to collect these guys in a reasonable fashion to make things simple. And I will be speeding this part up. It is completely monotonous and is not a good part in my opinion. It's kind of neat at first, but it is quickly a problem. Regardless, I'll see you when I'm done.
There you have it. We've collected all the tadstones. Oh, Link, you've gathered all the tadstones, haven't you? That's no small feat, or should I say, no small beat? You! Um, anyway, hurry and return to the water dragon. Alright, we will do just that. Boy, oh boy, was that a trek. I actually really liked um, this specific section. While I will admit that most it's not most people's cup of tea, I do enjoy exploring an area and getting lost and looking for things. Helps you also learn some secret areas that you didn't get to before while you were on land. But uh, personal bias aside, uh, it's, a, it's different. I actually do recommend you use your dousing, while in most cases I would suggest not to. In an area as big as this, using your dousing is a quick and efficient way to get through this part. Uh, all you have to do is, as you may have seen in the video, if it was too fast, all you have to do is get to a certain amount of tad tones before it is mentioned that you should do such a thing. Anyway, it's nice to have that part over. We've already been... I guess that's really it. This will be a, probably a shorter episode than I'm used to, or probably only around 10 minutes. Uh, however, I will not continue any further because any of the parts we really will be doing after this will take up an entire episode's length on their own. But regardless, without me just talking about what, what's to come, Let's go ahead and make our way to the tippy top to talk to the water dragon like before. Oh god. Well then, that was an awkward way of doing things. Part of the song of the hero. Oh. Originally, I had planned to keep these woods underwater so that that awful monsters could never return. But your task is far from over, and you're not exactly at home in the water. I suppose I'll return the woods to their natural state. Oh. All this excitement has been rather draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd best be on your way as well. Yes, as I suspected, the water level in Farron Woods has dropped. The forest has returned to a former, less aquatic state. Master, the melody you just acquired is one part of the Song of the Hero. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons in their respective areas to learn the other two parts of the song. And we will most certainly do just that. I've been on the of Chaotic Reunion. In the next episode, we're going to be heading down to Elden Volcano in search of the dragon named Elden. I'll see you all then.